Hey everyone, so I uh, just found this bit of a uh, scrap angle iron by the road, by the side of the road. So I thought that's perfect for making a bracket for my uh, big uh, roof support beam. So I've got them, these uh, preparated here and we've done a bit of a join on them so I'm just going to weld them together like that and then I'll probably put in a, a diagonal as well and weld them together along here and then that will clamp down to a bit of uh, concrete that the big, uh, the big bit of wood sits on Well, it's getting late, so I better pack up. Welding's getting better. Not too bad, really. Okay, got a lick of paint on it. It's uh, just a uh, metal paint, green metal paint. Um, I've added some, I don't know if you can see, but I've added some little corner supports as well. Uh, th don't think it'll need more than that. That'll be very strong. Yeah, we'll let it dry overnight. Tomorrow uh, might fit it. Okay, morning time, brackets done dry missed a few spots but I'll touch them up afterwards so gonna get these uh, fixed down I've got some fixings fix it down to the concrete I've got some stainless steel bolts uh, because it's going to oak and oak will rot anything other than stainless steel that's why this has been painted to hopefully prevent that from happening but this will be changeable if it does rot out in the future so it's not gonna be a problem Okay, let's go and get it fitted. Got the bottom squared off so it sits nice and flat and I've put it up on some uh, slate because concrete wicks moisture and, and slate doesn't. Uh, concrete's porous, slate isn't, so it's on top of some slates so the moisture doesn't come up from the floor and then rot out the bottom. So now we're gonna get that bracket fitted in there so I'll move some of these ropes and stuff out the way, set it up on a time lapse and, we'll, uh, and we're gonna lay it into the tree there and grind out a bit of that slate and then drill it to the to the concrete. So I'm just uh, cutting out this this flat here I'd have liked to have laid it in so it's sitting inside like a with a wall on each side of it but I can't because of the shape of the log but that's okay um, so yeah just uh, having chainsaw issues I bought a nice new little electric uh, chainsaw but I haven't got the batteries for it the batteries I got are old and they they don't last five minutes so I need to get new batteries for it so I'm back to the old one and the chain on this is on its last legs and I keep just brushing this uh, bit of slate with it. It's very difficult uh, to not do when you're doing stuff like this. Yeah, just uh, checking the level. Still got a way to go. I've got quite a bit to take out the bottom. So I just want to get some of the bottom out. And then we'll be pretty close then. Just 
just uh, chisel out this corner here. Then I need to cut out this slate and uh, and then we do a test fit and obviously we're going to have to come in with a chisel and flatten it off so it sits nice and flat. But I've got uh, Right, there we go, brackets in place. It's not as flat as it could be, but it's gonna be strong. I can't be bothered to spend any more time on my knees doing it. That's plenty good enough for what it's doing. It'll be nice and strong. Okay, I've got these holes drilled, battery run out, so that's uh, just drilled these while they're charged up. I'll put in these 10 mil expander bolts, four of them. Looking at this now, I could have made this a bit longer, but it doesn't matter, it's all right. So blast these through, and uh, Light them up and we get the rest of these in. I put two in so it's fixed back so these are in the right place. Tie it all up and it'd be pretty strong. I still need to fix it somewhere in the middle with some like with uh, some fixings into the bags and stuff. So, but this is just the first point of it. Get it fixed to the bottom first, work our way up. Hold well. We pulled out quite far, but uh, they'll be all right. I used to use these when I used to fit lifts in London a lot. They'll be fine. Nice and tight. I'll probably get a bit of a longer bar and give them a bit more as well. But it'll probably all settle down and need a bit, a bit more eventually. This is mostly to resist forces of the bottom pushing outwards. So as long as they're in something, it's going to be fine. Okay. So let's get these other ones fitted. Job done. Oh, right. I'm having real battery issues at the moment. These are old, but uh, yeah, it's just this is gonna die. Up. Uh, get these running a little bit, save me a bit of work, but I need to order new batteries for them. Really. fully charged right do it by hand the old-fashioned way I won't watch let you uh, make you watch me screw all these in but do it and then I'll uh, show it once it's done I've got all this nice sawdust as well for the uh, compost toilet so we sweep all that up as well
you got it? Got, uh, got it through, a longer piece. Just got to get this nut on the back of here now, just to get it started. I'm gonna have to get up there. Okay, good morning everyone. Yesterday went well, got this fixed up. It's nice and strong, so me and Dot are gonna strip it today. Dot's parents got me a elbow support, which is helpful, so I can wear that now. Helps my elbow a bit. And I thought I'd just quickly show you new t-shirts. I want to put that on. So t-shirts available on the website, eco-friendly t-shirts. Uh, go over, there'll be a link in the description. They're really nice and soft, good quality t-shirts. So yeah, go over, check them out. Then we're going to strip some bark and we'll put you on a time lapse. Sharpened spade is a great uh, debarking tool. Just put an edge on it. This one's broken, needs a new handle, but it's actually quite a good tool for doing this. Nice sharp chisel works well as well for detaily bits like this. Can't be too hard on it because it will snap, but you can't really get in there with much else. We want to get it all the bark out because the bark fills all those nice contours that give it that beautiful shape. So the more I look at this, the more I think I'm just going to cut those bits off. It just doesn't, it looks too, I think Dot described it as too busy and it does, it doesn't look good. I'm going to cut them off and round them and it will look much nicer then. They're not going to intersect with the roof properly. They're going to be in the middle of the window and there's just too much going on up there. So I'm going to get a saw and, uh, and chop them off. Let's get that done. Um, other than that, coming along well, looking cool.
Right, that looks much better. Pleased with that. I'll uh, get up there with a the smaller saw and round them all over and make them look nice. Um, I wanted to stick out a little bit, but yeah, much better. It looked too weighted forward, it didn't look right. I'm glad I left them on because it's hard to visualise that stuff. Uh, but the, once it was up and I started looking at it, you know, it, it just looks better like that. So yeah, and it saves me stripping all the bark off them as well, which is handy. Okay, so we'll carry on stripping it and uh, should be done soon, next hour or so. Okay, and it's up. It looks much better. Very pleased with it. Worked out well. It took me a lot of time making all the bracket and stuff, but it's good and it looks awesome. It looks great from back here. Obviously once all the blue plasticky tarps and stuff are gone and it's lime plastered into the wall and everything, it's just gonna look great. And so first log rests in that crutch there and then the spirals around. Um, it's a very shallow pitched roof uh, because otherwise when you're in the top workshop you won't be able to see over the roof the roof will obstruct the window so it's a very shallow pitch it's only about 450 millimeters of fall from there to there but it, uh, it will work it will drain but yeah very pleased love the shape of the log very glad I picked that one yeah looks great okay so that's gonna be the end of this video uh, probably not a lot. Oh yeah, that's right. Next job for that is putting the dead man and the foundation for the car lift up on the top there. So that's the job being done soon. But I've got to wait for a slightly milder weather for that. So I'll probably get back to doing the uh, more work on the solar shower in the next video. So, but next video for the workshop will be foundation for the uh, car lift, and it'll be a dead man for that to help support all this wall. Okay, so hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.